In the 1900s, German archaeologists discovered thousands of broken glazed bricks that used to cover the gate. They shipped them to Berlin, where specialists painstakingly reconstructed Nebuchadnezzar's crowning achievement in its original glory. This is the awesome sight that would have greeted the Hebrew exiles as they began a new life thousands of miles from their homes in Jerusalem. Museum curator Helen Gries protects this ancient megastructure. If you look at the Ishtar Gate today, it's impressive. It's a scale of it. Today, Helen and her team undertake crucial work on the processional way. This monitoring we are doing now, we are doing every two years. The glaciers are highly corroded. We have to really carefully see if something's changed. They begin by taking high-resolution photographs of each individual brick. By comparing them to images taken in previous years, they can check for signs of damage to the fragile glazes. Helen focuses on one of the ornate lotus flowers that line the walls. The white one is not really glaze anymore. It looks more like powder. Luckily, there were no new pieces which were falling down, but you can see this area is highly corroded, especially the white glazes, which need a conservational treatment. Helen's forensic analysis of the bricks also reveals how Nebuchadnezzar's artists pioneered a new technique to give the tiles their bright blue color. You need quite a lot of chemical knowledge to produce such brilliant colors. They use the color agent cobalt. It's around a thousand times stronger as the coloring agent as a copper oxide, which was used in Assyria. But Helen thinks these groundbreaking monuments also reveal how Nebuchadnezzar wanted to be seen. Assyrian palaces are covered with images of war and conquest. But these Babylonian walls are alive with mythical beasts. The lion represents Ishtar, the goddess of love and war. The bull is the symbol of the weather god, a dog. And the white dragon is the avatar of Marduk, chief god of Babylon. There are more than 575 animals on these walls. Nebuchadnezzar wanted to show himself as a devoted follower of the gods. But to the biblical exiles, the king must have seemed anything but pious. Nebuchadnezzar was fighting more than 40 years as a king. He was always in a battle, so it was not that there was no war in Neo-Babylonian time. 